Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about habits, specifically what they are and how are they formed. This video may also help you if you want to acquire new habits or escape bad ones. Therefore, let us begin. Habits are nothing more than the current configuration of concupiscible and irascible powers. A habit is a series of events that are so intrinsic in the brain, that you repeat it every time. A habit can be divided in three major moments, craving, action, and reward. The first and last ones are caused by the concupiscible power, while the middle one is caused by the irascible power. Those three events are looped one after the other, and their repetition forms a habit. Let's get into details. This graph represents the level of pleasure created by the concupiscible power according to the occurring event. As soon as you think about something, the concupiscible power estimates its advantageousness, and creates a sense of lack. This sense of lack makes you want something, it makes you crave it. Once the craving is perceived by the irascible power, it starts to look for a way to satisfy that lack, and as soon as it is satisfied, the concupiscible power enacts a reward, pleasure, that makes you more likely to repeat that action the next time. Let's see an example. You're just chilling on your Mediterranean maritime city, when suddenly your brain remembers that you haven't eaten anything for the past 72 hours. At that point, the concupiscible power creates a sense of lack, which is unpleasing. You then feel the urge to eat created by the irascible power. And when you go to the restaurant to get some pizza or pasta or fish or whatever, the sense of lack becomes less unpleasant. Then when you eat that plate of pasta al pesto, you feel pleasure. The pleasure created by the concupiscible power in response to you appreciating Genos cuisine. The exact opposite happens when you see the bill and think that maybe you should have gone to Naples instead. So we have seen that habits are directly connected to the two powers of the brain. Can they be altered? Yes, they can. All it's needed to alter a habit is altering one's perception of pleasure, since it is pleasure that makes you repeat a habit again and again. The changing of habits is based on intellect and will. With intellect you trick your brain into liking something because you know it's good, and with will you force yourself to do that something you know is good. The process to acquire good habits and leave bad ones is obviously more complicated than this. If you have a strong willpower, you should be able to change your habits easily. By the way, willpower is the strength of one's will, and intelligence is the strength of one's intellect. If you however struggle with bad habits, I strongly suggest you read Atomic Habits by James Clear, it will explain to you how to deal with your habits in an effective way. But if you don't want to have anything to do with books then there is a summary video on YouTube. And if you really want to spend less than 30 minutes learning how to change your habits, then I suggest you read the book even more strongly because it means that your attention span is completely fucked. Let's do an experiment. Open TikTok, find a video lasting more than 5 minutes, then watch it all the way up. If your reaction did not look something like this. But Thomas, I don't have TikTok, I hate it. Then you can be sure that your attention span is completely gone. Anyway, this was all for today. The next episode will be the last one of human physics, and you know what that means. The next chapters will be about ethics, and I know most of you are looking for ethical answers. For now, delete TikTok, and see you all later, be well.